Uh, that day, about 4.22 p.m., then it pulls into the Acres Mill Shopping Center. When he pulls in, he gets out as we talked about. What have I done? What have I done? Everybody else tries to save his child while he's walking around. After he gets detained by the police, you're going to hear from Officer Piper that he had a phone, the phone that he was not getting off of, he tries to slip it into his back pocket. That is the instrument for why he's not paying attention and not listening to them. They detain him and they take that from him. And then, he was put into the back of the patrol car, gave a history, gave a brief statement about what had happened. Not only going to hear the testimony of the officer, video and the recordings of this defendant minutes after pulling his son out of a car dead. You hear him yell at the police initially, then handcuffing him, and then you're going to hear the behavior, the demeanor, and the manipulation start from there. What's supposed to happen that way? You're going to hear later that he, he'd already planned that he was going to be an advocate somebody on TV do this before, and so he wanted to be an advocate like this guy. We'll get to that later. But you're going to see the manipulation and deception start here. Starts, he's already recognized the officer by name. Starts calling her Officer Piper. Tells her what happened. Oh, his story what happened. No, I was supposed to take my son today uh, to daycare. Uh, I guess I forgot, and I forgot to do a second look. I forgot to do a second look. Those are the words he used. Now you all are asked several questions in jury selection. You know, who here has heard PSAs? Who's heard this? Who's heard that? And we heard plenty of jurors say, you know, I don't remember them exactly. You know, I know it's about this, it's about that. Right after, minutes after he's pulled his son out, he's already getting his I did not do a second look while his son is dead on the paper. Also, uh, while sitting there in that car, a um, little background about what was going on that day. Gotten up that morning, gotten the son, that he noticed the child, and then after he gives his brief history and tries to get in and work in the fact that, well, I used to be in law enforcement, you're going to hear how he does that because uh, you're going to find out later, he used to be a dispatcher. Not a police officer, but a dispatcher in Tuscaloosa. You're going to hear him in the back of the car drive him away a little bit further from the scene. Calm, cool, and collected. What does he complain about? Is he screaming? Can I see my son? What's going on? No. You know what he does? He complains that it's hot in the back of the car. He complains that it's hot in the back of the car. 